Are you trying to figure out what the best nest box to use for your rabbits is? That's what I'm going to answer in today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And I've had a lot of questions recently about what kind of nest box people should be using for their rabbits. And I thought I would just go ahead and address that in a video. I've answered it on the weekly live broadcast, and I thought I'd just dedicate a whole video to it. There's actually several different types of nest boxes you can use, and I'm going to split this into a couple of categories. I'm going to talk, first of all, about the kind of material you need to use for your rabbit nest box, and then I'll talk about the style of nest box to use. Okay, as far as the material goes, just about anything's going to work just fine, but you want to stay away from wood. Uh, wood or anything that's going to absorb and be hard to clean. Now, I do line my nest boxes with cardboard, but that cardboard gets thrown away whenever that's done and replaced whenever I go for another, you know, get another litter. So wood is going to soak up urine, it's going to soak up feces, it's going to soak up all kinds of things, and you're never going to get it clean. So really, wood is not a good choice. Not only that, but rabbits will chew on it. So that's another reason why you might want to avoid some of the things like plastics or some of those kinds of things that rabbits might chew on and ingest. They do chew on the cardboard that I line my nest boxes with, but that's not really a problem. Uh, they pass that through just fine. It's no issue. As long as you're not using glossy or ink, you know, lots of inked cardboard, any of those kinds of things, it's fine. All right, so let's talk about the style of nest box that you choose. There's a couple of different styles, but most of them are going to be pretty much the same. Let me grab my nest box. I'll just kind of show you what I'm talking about. All right, this is a nest box that I use, and it's old. It needs to be emptied out. I've got it packed full of straw, and uh, there's actually some bugs crawling in there right now. Um, but it needs to be emptied out and cleaned out. This is a wire nest box, um, but most of them are going to resemble this one way or the other, whether it's made out of wire, whether it's made out of whatever. Some of them will have a top on them, and some of them will, you know, it'll be covered up, so you just have the, the area for the, the rabbit to get in and out. Um, some of them will be open like this. This is an open top nest box and uh, the cardboard's all falling down But you can see I just I put the cardboard in there um, Just line it with cardboard and then this all gets taken out and trashed before the next uh, litter I put a new cardboard box in there uh, There's a couple of things I really like about wire nest boxes is they are incredibly Ventilated all the airflow that you get through this even with the cardboard box in there You get lots of good airflow and that's good for multiple reasons. Let me put this down. We'll talk a little bit about why. Okay, the last thing you really need is a closed in, like a, a solid top nest box. It traps all the moisture inside the nest box, and that can be a big problem. In the summertime when it's hot out or when it's warm out, uh, the, the kits could suffocate in there if the humidity level gets too high. Uh, more common than not, though, what you're going to see is issues with like fungus or nest box eye or respiratory problems, those kinds of things, because there's just too much moisture in the nest box. It needs to dry out. It needs to be ventilated to let all that ammonia out, to let everything else out and not cage it in. So I really think that you should stay away from closed top nest boxes. The other problem in the winter time is of course freezing. If there's a lot of moisture in your nest box and it gets very cold, it's going to be hard for them to regulate their heat and they're going to end up freezing and dying from that. So again, open top nest boxes and then from there it's really whatever you like. I like the wire nest boxes uh, like I showed you a moment ago. It's super easy to keep clean. You just throw the cardboard box away, put a new card piece of cardboard in to line it with, stuff it with some straw and you're good to go for the next litter. Those are my favorite. And I've got a video on how to make that. I'll link it right up here. Actually, maybe on this side of the screen. I always get that backwards. But I'll link that video where you can uh, go watch that video on how to make your own nest box out of cage wire. Super easy to make. Uh, but if you do decide to buy a nest box, it really doesn't matter um, what kind you get. Just again, I would go for an open top nest box. You may also want to have wire on the bottom. It makes cleaning a lot easier. The liquids will just drop right through instead of pooling up in the bottom. But you could take, if you had an all, wire, all metal uh, nest box, you could take a drill and drill out a few small holes in the bottom to give drainage so it would drain through. Um, but those are about the only requirements in, in nest boxes as far as I'm concerned. I know lots of people that do successfully breeding rabbits and they just have a nest box that's nothing more than like a dish pan. Um, and if that works, then go for it. No problem whatsoever. I like a smaller nest box than that. Um, I like to keep the babies kind of in there together and not have them crawling around, spreading around. But again, that's up to you on, on uh, how you want to do that. If you do decide to buy a nest box, again, I would stay away from wood. And I would stay away from anything with a closed top. Those are really the only two requirements. So hopefully that clears some things up for you guys. Let me know below if you have a favorite style of nest box that you use. And as always, 
God bless.